In this video we're going to talk about decomposing a function. So this is kind of like doing function composition in reverse. So let's suppose we start with some function that we'll call h of x and maybe it has some kind of messy looking formula so like the square root of 7x plus 13. We'd like to write this function h as a composition of two functions where we have a certain inside function and outside function. So the question is find functions f and g so the h of x equals f circle g of x. Now f circle g of x, remember, means f of g of x. Okay, so g is the inside function and f is the outside function. And the question is, how can we do this? Well, if we look at this function h, the function g, the inside function uh, that we could use, is 7x plus 13. Okay, and then the question is, what is the outside function? What is the f of x? Well, the way I think of finding the outside function is, if you think of the whole inside function as just one big x, so instead of 7x plus 13, you put one big x there, then the f of x is what's left. It's the square root of just x. Okay, so these two functions, uh, if you compose them, you should get the original function h of x. So let's just check our, our answers here. What if we do f of g of x? Okay, do we get the original function h of x? Okay, hopefully we do. Okay, well let's try it. What is f of g of x for these two functions f and g? Well, f of g of x will be like f of 7x plus 3, because that's what g of x is. And what's f of 7x plus 3? Well, f of x is the square root of x. f of anything will be the square root of that anything. So f of 7x plus 3 is going to be the square root of 7x plus 3. And notice that is our original function h of x. Okay, so we did it correctly. We found our two functions f and g so that when we compose them, we end up with h. By the way, you don't always get unique answers. Sometimes uh, if you, you could pick something different for g and then find something different for f, that would still work. So these answers are not unique, but I think this is the most obvious way of doing uh, doing it in this case. Okay, let's try another example. Let's suppose we have h of x is the absolute value of x squared plus 3x minus 7. Okay, again, find functions f and g so that h is that function composition, f composed with g of x. And again, here we're writing this where g is the inside function, right, because it's f of g of x. So what do you think that the g should be? Well, notice the g of x, let's let it be the uh, x squared plus 3x minus 7. And the f is going to be the outside function. So what's the outside function? Well, again, remember if we think of that whole inside function as just one big x, then what's left is the absolute value of x. Okay, so the inside function is this uh, is x squared plus 3x minus 7, and the outside function is the absolute value of x. And you can check if you compose those, you really do get the original function h. Okay, let's do one more. Suppose h of x is the uh, 6x minus 4, uh, all of that raised to the fifth power. Okay, and again, same directions, find functions f and g so that h equals f of g of x. Okay, so again, the g... The way we've written this here, the g is the inside function. So what is going to be the g of x? I always work from the inside part first. Well, let's let g of x be 6x minus 4. And then what would f of x be? Well, again, if we think of the inside function as just one big x, then the outside function is what's left. So we're going to have x to the fifth power. Okay, if you compose these two functions, if you do f of g of x, you'll end up with the original function h of x. So we decomposed h into these simpler functions here. 